Hi everybody, welcome back to Game Time Valenine, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and to the desert. This episode, uh, first things first, I'm gonna go back into town and just get a few more arrows just in case, but to do that of course I have to change! And I'm a lady again! You guys didn't see me change, okay? You didn't see anything over there. Don't look at me when I change, alright? Don't look next time, I'm sensitive about my body, okay? There. They didn't see anything. Right? Alright, let's go see grumpy old lady here. Grumpy lady! Hi, grumpy lady! You wanna buy some things for me first? I'm not sure if I can afford enough arrows. Savak, I felt this a bit when the Thunder Helmets were covered, but now the Divine Beast come. Well, our chief sure is full of surprises. I hope my grandchildren grow up to be as strong as she is. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost my own thoughts. Sorry, I'm not too happy with myself. I'm a very grumpy lady. What? Oh. All right, fine. What do you want me to buy from you? Make it quick. I got a tight schedule here, you know. What the heck do you want to even... What are you trying to sell me here? Case wings? What the hell am I going to do with ten case wings? Whatever. I don't even know why I just gave you money for that. Anything else? Hurry up. Yeah, moblin fangs, again, don't know what I'm gonna do with half a dozen moblin wings, whatever. I'll just sell them to, I'll just, I'll just buy them for you, just make you go away, okay? Fine, buy my arrows. How many should I wrap for you? All of them? There's three of them, so then I'll come to 60 rupees. Oh, I guess I could have afforded them on their own. <laughs> I didn't even have to sell. Alright, that's settled. Okay, first things first, guys. We are gonna go here. To this shrine that we never did because we didn't have enough arrows. And secondly, I am going to try and reunite with my good friend, Steed the Steed. You guys remember him? Uh, my man made a boo-boo here. I left him somewhere around here in that, just a, in that little cliff valley. I left him in a safe place. But if he's not there, well, well, I sure hope that he's going to be in the in a stable at least. Because then I've lost my good friend. Okay, we'll, f we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's go to the shrine first. Let's go! Beam me up, Scotty! Get some water while I'm at it. It's the best time to drink is in the loading screens. I had a fantastic birthday, guys, here yesterday. It was my 27th, as I said in a Metroid episode. It was great. You know... It was the first birthday that I was away from my family, actually. Like, this, I've lived two years now. Just about two years am I away from home now. And, uh... And ever since... And, uh... But, like, last year I went back home for my birthday. But this year I'm sticking around a bit longer in my hometown... In my new town. Excuse me. But it was wonderful. It was very memorable. I had lots of great calls with family and friends. A few friends came over. Oh, got some nice gifts. And also, hey, I uh, got a casting call for voice acting, actually, on a show online, actually. I'm not sure what character I'm going to be or what it's even called yet, but it's something. And even if I did know what it was, I couldn't say it because we have a golden rule as voice actors to keep our mouths shut when projects are in process. It's actually a real thing. Uh, um, there is a... There was a voice actress one time, like... Like, people post things all the time and say, like, Oh, like, like I'm so excited to be part of this show upcoming here. I'm going to be playing this character. And uh, they post it on Twitter and stuff. And then, like, the producers see that and they're like, Nope, you're gone like that. And uh, she lost the role. And then the audition got resent to other voice actresses. And sure enough, one of them, one other person, a different person took over. But if she just kept her mouth shut, well, she wouldn't have had, she would have kept that role. So, uh, yeah, ever since I heard that story, I've kind of kept my mouth closed, too, because I don't want to risk that. Not every director is stingy like that, but, like, I just don't want to risk it. Well, look at that shot. What a shot. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to keep my mouth closed about it, but it's I did get the roll, and so, yeah, that was a excellent birthday present. I was so stoked, so hyped, and I'm so excited to be part of that whenever it's going to happen. All right. Okay, this one's a bit... Oh, yeah. I remember this one. This is a little challenging, actually. You gotta work with the boxes. I'm gonna try and use a big one. Ooh, a chest. Oops. What did I do that for? Probably some opal. It's always opal. Always the opal. Come on, box. There we go. That's who I'm waiting for. Ooh, and even... Holy shit. Look at all them boxes. 
Oh crap. <laughs> ah! No! No, don't get that by the laser! <laughs> oh dear, I really... I thought I was gonna... I thought... I, th <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Hey, uh, I'd help you out, sir, but unfortunately, you're made of rock, not metal. If you're made of metal, I could use my magneto pedals to help you out, but unfortunately, nope, you are stuck there. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Okay, um, now for this next, oops, for this next one, I gotta freeze this, because I can't, even if I put a box in front of it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stop the beam. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna one-shot me anyway. So, uh, I gotta wait. And then uh, I gotta freeze this and then run with this orb as fast as I can and may and hope that I can uh, and hope that I'll beat that second beam. I don't have the big bot I don't have the big big block anymore either. That sucks. Okay, we're gonna Alright, let's go. Pick it up! Oh shit, no, that's not gonna work. Sorry. I would have killed myself. Ah, shoot, Jesus, I almost fell. I did it too late. I was gonna die if I kept going there. Alright, we'll time it right this time. Alright, so I don't know about. Uh... There's a big one coming. Uh, oh shoot. Ah, I gotta watch it. It's a, ga it's a little game of patience, alright? Fortunately, I can't freeze it when, uh, when I'm holding the orb. I gotta put the orb down. And the big box is now, the big box isn't giving me a hand either, because he's just stuck there. Yeah, thanks for your help, buddy. Just had to go and fall in between the edges there. Clog up the system, huh? Alright, let's do it early. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. We were so in sync. Yeah. What is that? Not, that's not even it. Is there another? Is there another part? Oh no, there he is. There he is. Hello, Sara. Nah, it's been forever since I've done a shrine, hasn't it? Okay, sir. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Don't care. Just give me the orb, and I'll be on my way. Now go vanish in your little history feather dust. May the gods smile upon you. Goodbye. Okay, that's step one completed. And uh, what is it? We're about eight and a half minutes in. Next step, as you know, let's go see if we can find Steed the Steed. Stevie! What are you, Stevie? Um, let's see here. I'll go up to this shrine, actually, and then I'll glide down. That might make it, that might be the easiest. If not, if he's not there, well, then we'll go check one of the stables that we're at and uh, hope that he's there. Please be there, Steve. I'm going to be, if, if I've lost Steve, like, guys, I'm... I'm, like, half worried that I've lost my good horse. And remember what I said, like, I want him to be my little buddy till the end of the end of the whole game. He's gonna help me every step of the way. I know he's, like, one of the, like, he's one of the least developed horses of, of in the game, but, like, he's our first horse. The first one's always got a special place in your heart. I, why am I still wearing this? We are out of the desert now. We can put on our regular clothes again. That looks beautiful. That ah, looks better. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so somewhere along here. Ah, yes, it was just down here. Yeah. Steve! Where are you, Steve? Oh, Steve, please still be there. If you are, you're like the most loyal, dependable, wonderful horse I've ever seen. Oh, I don't see him. I don't see him! What? Ah. Oh, it's just... All I see is this guy. You! What'd you do to my Steve? You! Oh, shit. Ow. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry, horse. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, no. I don't see Steve, guys. Steve! Oh, got a dragon, though. Steve! No. Steve. Oh, please be at the stable. Please be at the stable. Where is that stable? Uh, okay, Riverside Stable. Okay, come on. Steve. Steve, please do not be gone. Steve, I need you. I need you now. You're my best little buddy. The game, life is not the same without you, my good steed. Please be there. Oh, God. Although, I mean, in this game, if your horse dies, like, you can go to, like, the horse god and have him, like, recover your horse for you, revive it. But, uh, that'd be a long trip. We'd have to go really off track here. Oh, God. Rain. Rain. That's not a good sign. That's a sign of dread. Rain is dreadful sign. And this dread could be symbolizing that my horse is gone. Steve. Sir, please tell me you got my seat. You got my Steve for me. My Steve. Steve. Oh. Oh, Steve. Oh, thank God, my little buddy. I'm so sorry that I left you there in the cliff. I should have boarded you here, but you know the way here. You ran all the way here because you know it was a safe place to be because you are a smart little motherfucker. You're a smart little horse. And our bond is maxed. And once again, Steve, we are back. Friends again. Oh, Steve! Steve. I missed you, my little friend. It's been a long time since we've hung out. I had a wonderful time in the desert. It was not pleasant sometimes, but we did it. Okay, everybody. As you know, the next Divine Beast. Got a few minutes, but we will at least make our way towards it. Now, we have done the Gerudo, as you know. Next on my list, guys, I believe it is, in fact, going to be... The Gorons, Death Mountain, and Van Rudanyar, as you can see him, climbing the mountain over there. He is our next target. And he is going to meet the same fate as Van Naboris. Was oh, that that? Hey, not that. What's he doing here? I thought he went back to the forest. Okay, Steve. We're gonna start making our way there. You! Thought you are in the woods. Do I have enough weapons to stash for something? Tanaka! So we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is central Hyrule. Shaloko! That means Korok Forest is still much farther north. Well, since I'm already, already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. Ah, wait a minute! <sighs> I know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed! You collected a Korok seed for the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand one of your stashes. Which one will it be? Oh, definitely weapon stasher. Choke! <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I thought we could use another stash, maybe. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, that'll do for now, sir. That'll do. That'll do, little Korok. That'll do, Steve the Steed. Oh, Steve, we are together again. Oh, that is so great. All right, let's ride for a little bit, and then we'll cap off the episode. Have a little Steve time. Oh, man, I was legitimately worried. Huh? Who are you? Just a rider like me. Ah, I see another shrine. Maybe we could stop there. All right, let's go off the road. That's another thing about horses. Like, if you don't... If you're on a pathway like I just was... I just went off the path, of course, because that's just who I am. You can, like... Ah, keys! You can, uh... Like, you don't even have to touch anything. They'll just automatically stay on the trail without you having to move anything. Uh, okay. Steve, will you go in that water a little bit? You'll go a little bit. Then it gets too deep, doesn't it? Yeah, it gets too deep there for Steve. Okay. Well, this is an interesting place, but next time on Game Time Valentine, guys, 
I will go to this little island, do the shrine, of course, and then we will continuously make our way north to Death Mountain. See you next time, guys. This is Valenine and Steve the Steed wishing you good day and good luck.